Prime Minister Augustine Matata Ponyo has resigned. It's part of a political deal stipulating that an opposition leader take the position of Prime Minister. Now, the accord also extends President Joseph Kabila's tenure. It was signed by the government and some members of the opposition last month. It's likely Kabila's administration will give government posts to the members of the opposition who signed the agreement. The larger opposition bloc is against the deal and has accused President Kabila of trying to cling to power. Now, Kabila's term was due to end next month. However, a court ruling has delayed presidential elections until April 2018. Now, DRC President is, uh, Joseph Kabila is expected to address the nation on Tuesday. It's uh, not yet clear what the content of his message will be, but uh, analysts suspect a transitional government will be announced. And meanwhile, the United Nations Security Council has called on political and social actors in the DRC to take greater responsibility and adopt an inclusive electoral calendar. They've asked that the ban on public demonstrations also be lifted. Now, the UNSC delegation has been visiting the Central African nation and members have already met with various political figures, including President Joseph Kabila and other opposition leaders, as well as representatives of non-governmental organizations. Last month, the Constitutional Court granted a petition of the National Electoral Commission to postpone the elections to 2018. On 18 October, participants in the National Dialogue on Elections signed an agreement to hold the elections in April 2018. However, that dialogue is being boycotted by several of the main opposition groups. They formed a coalition called Rassemblement. The group has been staging popular protests on the 19th of every month to pressure President Kabila to step down.